Welcome to my Christmas living room series part three. In part one, we decorated my Christmas tree in a rustic glam style. And in part two, we decorated the hearth and the mantle for Christmas. And in today's video, we're gonna finish decorating the living room for Christmas. So if you're in need of some Christmas inspiration to finish your Christmas decorating, then just keep watching. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. All right, now that we have the TV stand kind of decorated just very simply, I don't put anything on top right there where my speaker, um, whatever that thing's called, sound box is, because like if I put a garland there, it would kind of interrupt, block the, block the remote control, so nothing goes there. But anyway, I kept it very simple there. Now let's move over to this basket here that I pretty much just keep there and try to fill up to cover up those cords and outlets and all that good stuff. Alright, so all I've done is added two sweet little throw blankets here, just a plain off-white one to kind of fill up the basket, and then that little plaid one that adds such a pretty touch over here to this corner. And of course, one of those green Christmas, Christmas trees that everybody and their mother has had in their decorating videos that came from the Target dollar spot. However, mine had not had that pillow in some time, and last week I was in there and found one. It was the last one and snagged it up and knew it was going to look so cute here in this basket. Okay, so now just for a little bit more coziness and a little bit more uh, character, I'm going to add two little sweet um, fabric baskets or fabric presents. I got them from Kirkland's last year that I did not use, so I'm excited to try those here in this corner. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the ones I'm talking about. I know you guys have seen them before. They are so, so beautiful. Picked them up last year at the end of the season and didn't get to use them for the last Christmas season. So I knew I had to find a spot to use them last year. They're also come in, let's see here. Let me show you over here at the Christmas tree. They also come in this um, fabric material also. I kind of leave those under the Christmas tree until I put real presents underneath there. So let's see how those little white presents will look by that little basket. Okay, now let's move over to my end table and my chair and a half and get this decorated real quickly. Um, I normally just leave that plant there. It loves being by the window, so I'm going to make this side table very simple. Okay guys, as you can see, I just kept this little area very, very simple. That Christmas tree pillow there with the white pom-poms, and that was one of my very first uh, Christmas items that I bought for the Christmas season. I got it at Target, and that chunky green throw I've had for several years. And I kept this side table, let me get you a closer look. 
kept this side table, of course, very simple also. I, I will put out some of my coasters, but for right now, I just use this frosted lamb's ear wreath that I've had for some time. I believe this came from Target um, a few years back. And then this beautiful soy candle cypress and pine scent that came from the Hearth and Hand collection. See if you can see the design on that. Just love the design on this. So, so pretty, those snowflakes. So again, kept it very simple on this side table. I did add like a little Christmas tree to my plant um, and that's all I'm gonna do here. Okay, now let's move over to the right side of the room. Um, that recliner is where Derek normally sits, and then I sit right here on the left of the sofa. So that little end table stays pretty busy, so I'm gonna keep that pretty simple also. So I just kind of wanted to create a little vignette. I used one of those wooden stands that I also have my plant on, on the little table beside my chair and a half. I got those at TJ Maxx back in the spring. So I've just put um, these sweet little ceramic Christmas trees. I've had those y'all for some time, probably five or six years. They probably came from Hobby Lobby. And then this sweet little stem that's got the frosted berries and the pine cones and this gorgeous candle from the Threshold line called Forced Fur. I normally don't burn a candle here on the side table, so I like one that's fragranced, even with just the lid off of it, and this one definitely does the trick. So, very simple here on this little end table. Now I'm just gonna add a little fun blanket to my side of the couch, and then we'll move on to the other side of the room. up this morning I looked outside my window where children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling it reminds me of the good times Those if you happen to have missed any of my Christmas decorating videos for this Christmas 2022 season I have a playlist below that you can click on it, it will kind of play each video back to back without interruptions I love watching people's playlists because it's a great way to kind of put some videos on the TV if you're going to clean for an hour or two and it kind of keeps me entertained so I do have that playlist in my description box if you want to go check out my other videos in case you've missed them. Oh my goodness, I am so happy the way this vignette turned out. I wasn't quite sure, because if you've noticed, I'm really not using any new decor this year. I'm trying to use everything that I've already had, and I knew I wanted to bring some gold accents over here, and I've had these gold Christmas trees for a couple years. I have one more that I'm going to use here in a minute, and these beautiful little pewter deers that are shiny came from Hobby Lobby last year. 
I've had that little frosted wreath. I actually have several of those little frosted wreaths. And then that beautiful candle. Let me show you. This is the Holiday Balsam Soy Wax Blend Candle. I um, believe this is from Hearth and Hand or maybe The Threshold. But it is a beautiful candle. And it's also one of those that just smells really good even without being lit. So very happy with this vignette. So let's stop. I'm going to move the tray over just a little bit to the left and see what we can create over here to the right. Y'all, how sweet is this little deer? I picked him up last year at Target, I believe. He is so, so sweet. I just added my favorite farmhouse magazine that I get monthly for kind of my base to my vignette. I added that third Christmas tree and then a sweet little gold vase with these beautiful frosted stems that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now let's add a cozy blanket and some pillows to my couch. started with one of my favorite throw blankets that has that beautiful embroidered cursive L on it and then these two plaid pillows that I got from Target last year that are absolutely gorgeous and then I added these red velvet pillows with the gold writing which I think goes wonderful with the gold here in the den very elegant very simple and I'm just loving the couch area Okay, now for one of my favorite areas in the living room to decorate and this is this new bookshelf that I got probably about six months ago I absolutely love it so let me show you how I'm gonna style these shelves for Christmas Okay, let me show you the up close picture of this beautiful portrait that I picked up off of Etsy. I absolutely love it. Sorry, my flash is getting in the way. Let's see if I can somehow get that to focus. Look how gorgeous it is, guys. It's got these beautiful presents, these great little stockings, that flock Christmas tree. I absolutely love it. It says everything that I love about Christmas. So traditional. I picked this up off of Etsy and what was cool about it is that you can also order the frame to go with it. So I didn't have to worry about running to Walmart or Target or somewhere trying to find a frame for this print, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So here's my top shelf. If you remember back first of December, no, 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 probably the middle of November, I did a um, Christmas decor haul where I went to Home Goods and picked up a few Christmas items. And this is where this beautiful red deer came from. And so I think it works off well with the picture. And then these beautiful little white cloth shaggy trees with little wood bottoms. Um, some of you are probably familiar with Sky with House and Home. She used to have an online home interior home interior store, um, and I picked those up, I believe, two years ago from her. I loved her home decor store, but she no longer has it. But she still has a wonderful YouTube channel. Okay, so now let's move down to the next shelf.
Okay, and here's my second shelf. I just love that linen book that I got off of Amazon. It's just a really pretty um, kind of grounds that whatever vignette that I'm making. And so I think it just is very neutral. And I'll link that below, guys, if you'd like adding books to some of your vignette, vignettes. And then this beautiful flocked pine cone wreath. And I took two of my red LED candles and put it in there instead of just one. Um, and then these World Market gold trees that I got are absolutely stunning. So, okay, first um, top shelf done, second shelf done. So let's move down to the third one. Okay, there's my third shelf. I added more white this time, and I loved using those little um, gold candle holders, I guess you could say. I put some little LED lights in those. We actually bought those at, to go for my son's wedding, and those were two that were left over, and I thought they were perfect here to add a little bit more gold onto this shelf. Um, these little books came from Hobby Lobby. No, they didn't. I'm so sorry. They came from Home Goods, and I thought they were just beautiful. You saw where I opened them up. They've got this same print on the inside of the book. So pretty. And then this came from the Threshold line, and again, I just added those cute little rings on underneath um, each of the candle holders. And then those white Christmas trees in the back. And of course, we have to say something about Jesus' birth because that is the only reason for Christmas. Um, so, oh, come, let us adore him. I got those at Hobby Lobby, and I think they're just beautiful. Okay, and just for one last touch, let's put some little bells together that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'm going to try to incorporate them right here on top of these books. So, um, they came without any string on them. So, let's get some jute string added to them and see if we can kind of complete this area with those cute little bells.
Okay guys, what do y'all think? I, add, I think they add such a sweet touch here on this little shelf. Um, like I said, they come without any string and I think adding that jute string to them just really gave them even more character. So this is the third shelf complete and I'm just loving the shelf so far. Now let's work on this bottom shelf. Okay, friends, and there's the last shelf. So as you can see, I just took that beautiful gold tray. It actually goes with that little vase I used on the coffee table and created a little vignette inside there. Now, I do have a couple of new items here. The Joy Sign is not new, and neither is the candlestick. Um, but that little candle and those little greenery twigs came from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. But I think it's very simple, very sweet, and I love the way it turned out. And guys, I know I did not use a lot of new stuff on this shelf. I just kind of wanted to show you guys how you could take what you have and decorate your home without having to run out and buy new stuff. Yes, I do. I did incorporate some new items, but I mainly stay with what I already had. So for instance, that little vignette that I created down here. This is something you could easily recreate. Uh, you've got a little tray or a little bowl. You've got some type of sun a candlestick, a candle, and some greenery twigs. That's all that you need to create a simple little vignette. Absolutely loving the way everything turned out here. I think the bells gave it such a special touch also. I love the gold touches with the white touches and that sweet little red reindeer that goes along so well with that great sign that I got off of Etsy. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what's your favorite shelf? I know it's going to be hard for me to choose, but I think think right now my favorite one's probably going to be this little shelf with the bells but I'm really loving this little vignette down here also. Okay friends, I sure hope you got lots of Christmas decorating ideas in today's video. I appreciate you spending your precious time with me. Um, if you're new, leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would take a second and hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. Go on over to Instagram. Let's follow each other over on Instagram. And friends, I'll see you next week. Bye!